Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do part two of my uh, house plant. Let me just, this is crooked. Hold on. There we go. Okay, I had to straighten out the camera. So anyway, today I'm going to do um, part two of my house plant tour video. I'll link part one below so you can go and watch that. I basically broke it up by rooms. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so let's start right here. Um, I'm back in my front room because really quickly, you can see that right there. I have some new additions. This is an elephant bush. I actually purchased this from Lowe's for $1. It was in the clearance section. It has some challenges, so I have it right here. On top of my AC, which I don't use because it's right in front of the window, it seems to like it and it's putting out some um, some new leaves. So that's in here. And then I have some Echeveria leaves that I'm trying to propagate successfully this time. They, they're doing pretty good. Um, they haven't rotted and wilted up to anything and it's been a couple of weeks. So hopefully this is going to work. Come around here. I can't remember if I showed the Monstera last time, but this is a Monstera that I did purchase from Trader Joe's. Has some nice little baby leaves, some mature splits. And I got this for uh, $19. Trying to see what else I have in here that's new. I did show the mask cane. I did put some Golden Pothos propagations down there because when I first saw this plant in Lowe's, I wanted the one that had the vining plants at the bottom, but the one without it was cheaper. And so that's just what I did. And you can see here that this little piece that has been here since I got it is finally starting to get bigger. So maybe I'll have another branch. This is for sure new. This is my philodendron micans, nice and long and trailing. I purchased this plant for $9. It was originally 15 um honestly i got it at a grocery store and they don't really know what the plants are supposed to look like it has some issues but not many but i said you know let me ask and see anyway and so i did and i was able to get this full beautiful plant for nine dollars and it was bigger than this i've actually already did some propagations because i can't help myself <laughs> and so it was fuller than this um so I'll just show you, here's like one of those little propagations from the plant I just showed you there. And then I have some other ones here. I'm trying to show you only the new things. This is new. This is the purple waffle plant, which is really cute. Um, I really like this plant. I don't know how, I never found out about it before. It's literally perfect. Purple is my favorite color and I love, I feel like it looks like cabbage, which is one of my favorites too. So definitely like this. This is a propagation here. This plant is new. I actually just got it yesterday. And I'll show you the mama when we go into the kitchen. Um, so yeah, as I said, I can't help myself to propagate, especially when there are like extra arm, long arms hanging off. And I feel like they would make the perfect look. Because as I said in my other video, I love single vines. This is a single vine of a pothos. I actually chopped it again because it was like down to um, here. And so I just like the look of that. Coming over here, I don't think this was here when I did the first one. I found this at Lowe's. This is a Philodendron Brazil. It's kind of propped up because I wanted to train it to climb because I want to like bring it up this wall and like hang it over there. So I put like a stake back there and I'm trying to train it to do that. But this is another one of those plants that was nice and big. When I got it, it had nice long trails and they are propagating over there as you saw. So I think that's the only thing um, in the front room that's new. Oh, this guy here also, uh, this is a Sansevieria cylindrica. I had been looking for this. I found it one other place. It was a bigger one, but I think it was like 15 or $18 and I didn't want to pay that much so I didn't get it. I got this guy for six bucks um it's smaller but it has as you can see several inside so i can split it up if i want to and i also get to watch it grow which is cool 
So that is also from Lowe's. And now I'll come over into the kitchen. Um, this is just a little display I have on the table for right now. These are cuttings from the larger plant over there, my um, Philo Hope. It was outgrowing the space that it was in. And so I wanted to give it a trim, but I didn't want to get rid of the leaves. And I was watching Plant Arena and she showed how she decorates, you know, with foliage clippings. They stay alive for a few weeks and same thing as having flowers, you know, and I feel like I'm not wasting them and it still gets to have, you know, like a nice cute sort of a look. So we have that. So I'm gonna keep coming over here. Excuse my little mess. But this brand new girl I got yesterday at Lowe's and this is the mama plant for the propagation you saw over there. This is a prayer plant. Red pear, red prayer plant, and yeah, I just think it's really cool. I of course knew what it was right away. I've seen these on, you know, Instagram and YouTube, and so yeah, this is my first one. I think you know it's really cute. It was in a little rough shape, um, not super rough, but enough to where I wanted to ask for a discount, which I did. It was fifteen dollars, and I got it for seven. Um, the cashier wasn't very happy to mark it down for me, but I didn't really care because. It did, you know, have some damage to it. She tried to say like, oh, that's how it's supposed to be. That's not even bad. That Those are just dead flowers or dried up flowers or something, she said. I'm like, okay, so that speaks to condition. But anyhow, I got it for $7. I'm very happy. It had another long arm right here. And that's the one you see propagating over there. I actually did two propagations and you'll see the other. But it's looking very nice. Like I said, I just got it. So I checked the soil. It looks pretty good. Um, I didn't see any creepy crawlers, but I always leave new plants, you know, quarantined to the side from the rest of the plants for a few days, up to a week, really, just to make sure. So I misted it today. It's looking really good. Um, and yeah, so I'm happy about that one. So now I'm going to bring you over here into my mostly clean kitchen. <laughs> and so this window... I'll, I'll link it. I don't remember. I took my compass around so I could find out what facing window it was. But anyway, it produces, you know, a decent bit of nice light. And I have this little shelf area here next to my sink that I don't use for anything. So I started putting plants here. So right here you have the golden dust croton. This is the single croton, the only croton out of like the five or six that I've had that I've been able to keep alive. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'm not going to move it. It is actually growing. It's gotten quite a bit taller. It used to be like down here. So it likes it here and I'm just gonna leave it. As I said, I had at least one, two, I had at least three other, I may be exaggerating about six, but I had at least three other crotons that just did not make it. So I said I wasn't gonna buy anymore. Um, my husband actually got this one for me from the grocery store, the same grocery store that I got the Mikan's from. And so it's been thriving, so I'm just gonna leave it there. This here is a Philo Prince of Orange. And as you can see, when I got it, I won this in a giveaway. I'm gonna link that video so you can see what it looked like when I first got it. But this, it was kind of orange, but it was never like fully orange. And I know, correct me if I'm wrong, these types of plants can revert if they don't get the proper light. So. I feel like this one will that's what this was doing but anyway since i've moved it over here you can see all this little new growth these um leaves are new you see this popping out this is pushing out and this one has me really excited because as you can see this leaf looks like it's going to be nice bright orange so i'm excited for that to come out I'm pushing it it's coming out um it's pushing out more and more every day so i'm excited for that this was from that same giveaway this is a philo moonshine i think it's called moonlight and it's been doing um pretty well since i moved it over here too it has a new little baby leaf that popped up so it's definitely a nice bit of light over here and so um for the time being they'll just stay here this right here is my little begonia rex i picked this up at lowe's for one dollar it was in the clearance section i cleaned out all of the you know real bad leaves and placed it over here because it's my understanding that begonia is like bright light 
and this is the closest the window I can get it to. The window in my front room is the largest wall of windows, um, you know, in my home, but it's also where the AC and the heating vent is. So I didn't want any plants to get used to being over there because I would have to move them come winter time, you know, when the heat is on. So this is the next best thing. There's a little heater down there, but it's so far down. I don't think it'll affect anything. So yeah, this is looking good. It has some little babies in there coming up. So that's doing great. This lady right here is a propagation that I took from the Monstera that I just showed you that's in the front room. It had this leaf. Um, it seems to be getting taller. Um, to be honest, I kind of messed with it a little bit and that's what loosened it right there, but it's not opening. So I put it here so you can see the distance. I want it to be closer to the window and see if it'll do something. but. It does have roots starting to come off of it. I had this in water first, and then I put it into this soil. Before I put it into the soil, it had about an inch of roots coming out of the node. So we shall see. And this one right here, which is looking kind of crazy. It didn't look like this yesterday, so I don't know what happened. But um, I think it needs some water. This is um, a begonia that I got for Mother's Day. And this bloom was literally bright pink just yesterday. That's just, that's what's so crazy about these. Now, when I first got this one, uh, my mother actually got it for me. And she said it was a mini rose. And I felt like the leaves looked different from roses le leaves on roses. So I looked it up. And that's how I found out it was a begonia. And it was not doing too great. But it's been doing really well. I'm going to insert the picture that I literally took of it yesterday. So I did move this here. So maybe this is blocking the light from it. So maybe I need to move it. But I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's looking kind of crazy right now. This is a Tis Tiscancia. I'm, I know I'm probably saying that wrong, but a wandering Jew, which apparently is offensive to say, but it's on all the labels in the store. So I don't understand. But anyway, um, this is actually a propagation from the main plant. I don't care for this plant too much. As I said, in part one, my son picked it because he knows my favorite color is purple, but uh, this plant is not my favorite. I got rid of the main mom plant because it was a spider on it. It wasn't like a, pan, a plant spider. It was just a, a black jumping spider, but I got rid of it anyway. That gave me an excuse because I didn't really like it and it wasn't doing too great because I don't have enough direct light. And then I forgot I had this propagating in one of the little bottles. So I was just like, let me put it in some soil and see what it'll do. Um, I mean, it's there. It's doing something. So that's that. Moving over here, this is a satin pothos that I have propagating. Now, I've heard that these do better propagating in soil, this specific pothos. So I'll leave it in here a little bit longer and see. I know my other pothos, like within not even two weeks, were growing roots. These have been in here, I'll say a week, and I'm not seeing anything. So I'll give it a little more time and see what happens. And then I'll decide if I want to put it into, oh, maybe with a little monstera leaf out the way. I'll decide if I want to put it in soil or not and see what happens. Um, this little pitiful site here is my string of bananas. It was doing really well when I had it in front of the big deck of windows in my front room. But as I said, I moved that stuff because um, I knew I was going to have to move it anyway. So I wanted the plants to get settled into a different space. Once I moved it, it just kind of went downhill. This is like a rescue plant from Lowe's too. I got it for $3. It already had some challenges when it was there. I'll insert a picture so you can see what it looked like when it was doing really well, which is not now. So I don't know. I moved it a couple times. It's just not happy. And so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll try to move it again and see what happens. Coming down here, these are um, it's a little cutting off of the Philo Brazil and the Mikans. And some one of them, I think has a node where it can probably do roots yeah as that one does the brazil the phyllo leaves i mean the mikan's leaves are just um they fell off and they're so pretty i don't want to get rid of them so i just stuck them in water and they'll do whatever they do and then here's the same thing these are the phyllo brazil i'll say phyllo obviously i'm talking about philodendron but it's a long word so why not shorten it <laughs> so anyway these fell off and i just thought they're so pretty so I stuck them in water because I've seen some people say they've propagated off of a single leaf. So I figured why not try instead of getting rid of the leaves. This is my 
uh, Sansevieria, something with an L. Um, it's doing pretty good. This one actually got knocked over. It was in my bedroom. There was like a windstorm and it got knocked over. It has like a little baby in there. This one broke. I was trying to propagate that piece, but it wasn't working out. And so I just tossed it. Um, it has a little baby piece in there. So this is sitting here for now. And this is this little, little section. I want to put, because I don't use this dishwasher, I want to get some kind of like shelf or something to put here just to take advantage of the light from this window because everything I put over here seems to do really well except for the bananas. But the bananas are kind of under this deck of cabinets, so maybe that's blocking it. Anyway, I don't know. This is just really blowing my mind because this looked so nice just yesterday. So anyway, you can even still see, can you see that, the little babies in there? So maybe it just needs some water. The leaves don't feel firm like they normally do either. So maybe it needs water. All right, so moving along, I'm gonna come into, excuse the kids, look at that. My son was supposed to be in there taking a nap. He ended up taking out toys. So, he's sleep now though. So, now we are in my bathroom. And this is a built-in shelf right here that I used to keep toiletries in. But as I started propagating, and as you can see, like, it needs new paint and stuff. And so, I just been trying to cover it up by putting the toiletries there. But as I started propagating my plants, I said, you know, this is a perfect space. So, as you can see up there, I have some... Maranta, the red prayer plant. I have that's the second propagation from there. I have some golden pothos up there, and then I have some hartley phyllo right there, and then I have another nice bunch of micans right there. So eventually, I think this is just going to be all plants in here and no toiletries because I just think it's the perfect spot. It gets some pretty, I say, bright indirect light in here. It's a small window, but it gets pretty bright in here. And the, um, the golden pothos, I've propagated some other ones in here that I transplanted. They did well in here. So that is that. So now I'm going to come in here to my room. But my bed is not made up and my daughter's asleep, so I'm going to be quiet. Um, this is just a little cluster I put here on my TV stand. This right here is my favorite. This is, I think it's so cute. It's just a little clipping of a golden pothos and it's growing it's getting taller and i had this i actually got a succulent in here this is what it came in it doesn't have any drainage so i make sure i only put minimal water in here but um yeah i like the container so i didn't get rid of it i need to buy a drill so i can put holes and everything so that's no longer an issue but i just think this looks so cute and this right here is uh, Dracenia Janet Craig. This is also a part of the giveaway I did. It's doing fine. Um, it's a little bit bigger since I got it. I've had it since the beginning of July. So it's doing well. This little sculpture here I got. If you watch my first video, you'll see that other sculpture. I got the pair of those at Goodwill. They were $2.50 each. And I just thought it was so cute. And I like the look of the wood next to my plants. Here we have a Golden Pothos. Um... It started off as a really big one. Uh, someone bought it for me. And it had like brown spots. You can see some like freckles on some of the leaves. Which I didn't really like. So I broke it down. And I started propagating it out. And this is what's left of the main plant. So it's doing pretty well. It had a long trailing. It wasn't really long. But it had a piece that was starting to trail. But I wanted to fill in the top of the pot. So I kind of cut it down. And stuck them back down in there. So... This is the little cluster I have right here by my TV. And I have this lamp right here that I don't use. I'm thinking of putting a plant up there. Obviously, I would take the bulb out and I wouldn't plug it in. I feel like that's the perfect place to put a trailing plant. To just let it, you know, sit up here inside of that bowl. And just let it, like, cascade down. So, I haven't decided. I was going to do it with my micans. And then I decided I wanted the micans in the front room. So, we'll see coming across here this is the one and only window in my bedroom again i forget which direction facing window it is i'll link it above but this right here is um a little hartley phyllo clipping 
Um, actually, I mean, it's a clipping, yeah, because it's off the mother plant in the front room. But I didn't take it off. I was watering that plant and, um, you know, adjusting it, like cleaning off some dirt and stuff. And a vine had was detached from it. So I just took it and plopped it down in some soil. It did have a vine on it, but the leaves were like very thin and withery. So I just took them off. I had a stake back there because I wanted it to trail up, but they were looking pretty pitiful. So I just took them off. These three leaves um, are nice and strong. At least they feel that way. They look that way to me. You can see this one is reaching out for the light up here. And then there's this little baby up here. So we'll see what that does. Um, leave it in here for a while and then I um I don't know I may stick it back in with the mom plant now this right here is my other fiddle leaf fig tree I think it's doing pretty well this one loves to reach towards the the window I do rotate it just to make sure it doesn't um you know get too lopsided but I still want it to do what it does I tried the little, um, the splits and the thing to get it to branch out, um, you know, putting the cuts and it hasn't done it yet. So we'll see what happens. This, I'll link that video too, was a, a Walmart rescue. The other one that's in the front room, they all came together in one bunch and I got it for $8. I think it was originally like 20 something. It had some, some little bit of issues to it. I brought it home, cleaned it up and I separated it out and so that's what we have there also i forgot to show this uh bonnie spider plant which is doing pretty pitifully um this used to be nice and full if i remember i'll insert a picture it has some issues so i got it marked down again again from lowe's if you're ever shopping at lowe's and you see imperfections in the plants um don't be afraid to ask for it to get marked down the standard is usually 50 percent off um, I've had plants even marked down to a dollar before, so I think it just depends, but it never hurts to ask. Um, so anyhow, I had cleaned it up and I thought it was doing well, but it's like, I don't know. This is the last little remaining piece, so I just hung it right here um, with these command hooks, which it has been holding up. I know this is not the heaviest of plants, but it's been holding up really well. Um, so yeah, that's there. and. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of annoyed with it because I wanted this plant so bad. I have a regular spider right here, which is acting a little sassy because I changed the pot. And so I guess it's still bouncing back to decide if it likes the new pot. But I wanted the curly one from the beginning and it was just crazy. Anyway, I talked about that story in part one, so go ahead and check that out. But I'm going to hang on to it until, you know, I can't anymore because I really wanted it. So that is all of my plants. Um, I don't have any plants in the kids' room, uh, mainly just because I didn't really think to put them in there. And they don't, although they don't mess with my plants, I'd be curious, like, if I had them in their room, if they'd be tempted to bother them. So there are not any plants in there. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed my plant tour, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, real quick, let me show you. Um, over here, this is my kids' little school work area. I had an echeveria here. That's the one that has the leaves over there propagating. It was just a mess, and so I decided to take that apart. But anyway, this is, um, I showed in the first video a, hmm, what is it called? Peperomia obtusifolia. And so I've had this plant for over a year. And it's only put out like two new leaves. So somebody told me they like very bright direct light. So I moved it over here. You can see the proximity to the window to see if it makes a difference. It is kind of pulling this way. So I rotate it around like that so it can all get some light. But I want to see if it has any difference being over here. Because that window I had in the kitchen is where this one and the other one used to be. And it still never grew much. So I just wanted to show you that. And we'll see and follow that and see what happens. But... See you guys next time.